What's going on Facebook Live world? And we are here in my kitchen for another episode of Sunday Night Food Prep. This is episode 10. So first things first is I want to thank you guys because without you and your awesome responses to this, it wouldn't be 10 episodes of our Sunday night food prep. We're gonna wait. We got some people tuning in. If you are jumping on, let us know where you're jumping in from. Let us know if you're making dinner, what you're having tonight. And if you're making tonight's episode with us, our pulled salmon salad, let us know so we can all get your questions answered on how to make it the right way so you get it delicious and we are getting ready to get started so we are going to start with talking a little bit about the importance of some of the ingredients in our salad so the salmon to start with is a healthy protein filled with healthy fats Omega-3 fats to be specific more and most people are lacking omega-3 fatty acids in their diet so we want to help you add more of that in our salad tonight we've got fennel if you don't know what fennel looks like this is what it's gonna look like we're gonna chop it up and we're gonna mix it in with some organic baby spinach we're gonna throw some tomatoes in there some chickpeas as well and we're gonna make a dill and yogurt dressing with the lemon as well so guys if you're tuning in definitely let us know what you want us to make in the future how to show you how to make certain things that maybe this is maybe you're not a fish person so instead of fish you can do instead of the fish you can do chicken so similar way you're going to cook it we'll give you the cooking instructions for that but since it is summer and we are trying to add more omega-3 fatty acids into our diet we are going to go with the salmon tonight. All right. So to get things started, we're going to just wash off the fennel real quick since we didn't really get a chance to do that. We have our mandolin here so we can chop up our celery and our fennel for the salad. And we will get started in just one second. So we're just going to get this. So, we're going to wash the fennel, peel the sticker off of course, alright, so if you don't know what fennel is, it is a root of the dill plant. Cut the bottom off, alright. Smells very good. Smells like licorice. I'm gonna rinse that off. If you're tuning in, guys, definitely let us know where you're watching from. So we can shout you out. Say what's up. We got our fennel right now that we are breaking apart for our salad. And if you've never had fennel in your salad, it is quite delicious. So, cut the root from the bottom. Alright, so we got our fennel broken up. Alright, 
check it out. So we got our fennel here. We're gonna choose our thinnest option on the mandolin. And we're gonna start running it across. So fennel is a delicious thing to add to your salad. It's got a ton of flavor. It's gonna add a nice kick to the salad. It's a nice crunch as well. So you see. So tonight we're making about two pounds of salmon. Two pounds is gonna be for about four, actually I'm sorry, a little bit over a pound and a half. So about 1.7 we got. So a little bit over a six ounce piece per person on the salmon. So if you take a look, you can see we're shaving that fennel, okay? If you've ever had a shaved fennel in your salad at a restaurant, then you would know what it looks like. It's going to look like little white hairs. Now, if you don't want to do this with a mandolin now, you can also do it a little bit thicker. I am doing it a little thin. I'm going to go a little bit thicker on, on here. One, two. There we go. I'm going to reset that. There we go. Now be careful, if you're using a mandolin and you're not using the safeguard, you might want to stop a little early so you don't cut yourself. All right, it's very common that people cut themselves on the mandolin. It's one of the most dangerous tools in the kitchen if you're not using a safeguard. Right now, unfortunately, I don't know where my safeguard is. So I'm saving a good chunk of the head so I don't cut my fingers off. Fennel salad, not a finger salad. So that's gonna be about enough. Let's take a look. We have a nice amount of fennel here. Okay. Beautifully cut. Nice and thin. The mandolin does a beautiful job. Alright. Now we're gonna take our celery. Alright. We're gonna cut the bottoms off. Make sure that those are clean. Okay, make sure your celery is clean. Okay, we'll cut the bottoms off from that. Our oven is preheating right now. It is at 425. If you heard it beeping, that means it's ready, which means it's almost time. This is a real quick one, guys. This is gonna take like 15 minutes, this, this dinner. So definitely give it a try. It's, uh, it's a delicious one. And it's very fast. So here we go. We're using the mandolin again for the celery. We want really, really thin, thin pieces. We don't want a really big bite of celery. We want. And celery is super good for you. If you're not putting it in your drinks, this is a good way to get it into your salad. Really thin. Guys, if you're watching, let us know where you're tuning in from so we could say what's up. And if you have any questions about tonight's dinner, we are making a salmon, a pulled salmon salad. It's got fennel celery. We're going to add some tomatoes into ours because the wife and I love tomatoes. All right, so there's our celery. Our celery is also very, look at that, super finely chopped. All right, I mean, super thin, so it's not going to be too powerful. We got our chickpeas. We're going to put that in there. All right. They've been rinsed out very well, so make sure you rinse those chickpeas well, okay? 
I'm gonna actually go and get a little bit of a bigger bowl here. You know what? Maybe I don't need to. So we got the lemon and the yogurt. We're gonna make our dressing real quick. Show you guys. So if you don't have a zester, I highly recommend maybe going out to get one. If you don't have one it's not the end of the world so we got our greek yogurt here i'm gonna make our greek yogurt and dill dressing now guys uh, this is really easy to make but if you don't want to go through the trouble of making this dill yogurt dressing you could definitely go out and find some in the supermarket i know that in the mediterranean section sabra makes a a really good one so got our Greek yogurt our lemon we're going to zest the lemon so check it out so see there's the lemon zest right there let me get a little bit more And drop that in there. That's where all the flavor of the lemon, guys, really comes from, is from the zest of the lemon. So we have our lemon zest, and now we're gonna add our juice. Give me one second. Just wanna make sure I don't get any pits in there. Squeeze it into here first. So episode 10, guys, I want to thank you for being part of this journey in helping you find a way to get better meals done quickly. So, excuse me. So I squeeze the lemon. All right. This is about the other half. So I just squeezed it into a bowl so to make sure I wouldn't have too much. That's one lemon. I got my dill here. I'm gonna chop that up really fine. Okay, so we got our dill chopped. Guys, if you're just tuning in, we are making a pulled salmon salad with a dill and lemon dressing. Inside of our salad, we got fennel, celery, and chickpeas. We're gonna throw some tomatoes in there next. All right, so there's our dill. Nice and fresh dill, guys. So you wanna make sure, guys, if you can, use nice, fresh ingredients, especially this time of year. It's so easy, so accessible. Make sure you're doing it because it's going to add way more flavor to your food. Alright, so let me just get a wipe down here. Okay, so close this stuff. Alright, so we got our salad. We're gonna go get our fish. So we got our fish and a nice piece of fresh caught, wild caught Atlantic salmon. We're gonna get our fisherman's knife out. So make sure you got a nice, good knife. Okay. 
So this piece of fish is a pound and a half. It was about $21 a pound. But quality people, that's what it's all about. So we're gonna cut up. Oh look at that, he gave me a nice extra piece. Nice, nice guy at the fish store. So we're gonna cut four pieces. We're gonna put skin side down, okay? We're gonna put the skin side down to roast in the oven. So when it cooks, the fat will cook. Cause the fat is on the top, obviously. The fat will cook all the way through and break that salmon apart, all right? Cause remember, we're gonna pull the salmon apart once it's done. All right, so we got one, two, three, we got five. We're gonna have five delicious pieces of fish here. You guys will take a look in a second. So very important, guys, to use a good knife on here so you don't really tear apart the salmon. You want a nice piece of fish to go with your meal. So here we go. We got our five pieces here. Boom, boom. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. So, if you're tuning in, whether live or not, say what's up, let us know where you're tuning in from. Summer nights, we're getting ready to put this fish in the oven. We got a salmon with celery, fennel, and chickpea salad. It's gonna go on a bed of baby spinach. We got a Greek yogurt dressing so it's a Greek yogurt with dill and lemon dressing that is about to go in the oven and I'm oh, sorry the fish is about to go in the oven and we'll dress after that so give me one second so on the fish look at that five beautiful pieces of fish Check it out, okay? Simple. We're gonna do salt, pepper. Keep it simple. So, pepper. Coach Rob is tuning in, what's up coach? What's up, my man? So we got our Himalayan sea salt. We got to love that. Love that salmon with the salt. It's got to be very seasoned very well. And then we're going to take a tiny, tiny bit of grapeseed oil. And we're just going to sprinkle it right on top of these guys. So you got a nice little, nice little crunch on the top. All right, so our fish is ready to go in the oven. We got here, let me switch this camera angle. We got here our chickpeas, our fennel, and our celery. We got here our dill, our lemon, and our Greek yogurt. We'll mix that up for you guys. All right, that's gonna be our dressing. For our salad, we're gonna put that on a, a bed of baby spinach. So, check it out. Sam is going in the fridge. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Sneezing. I don't know if they can't really cut it. That's what's beautiful about Facebook Live. So, fish going in the oven. All right, I'm gonna set that guy at 425 and we're gonna throw him in for 10 minutes. And we are gonna set that and let it go. So, while that is cooking, we're gonna take our eggs, we're gonna put some eggs in a pot and we are going to hard boil them. So we have some hard boiled eggs for the week. So there are no excuses, all right? 
what we will do after that is we will roast some broccoli and that will be our so those five pieces of fish will last about two days and, and we are going away so we will have more than enough, enough food for when we come back so guys quick short episode I will post a picture of how the fish looks with the salad all I'm gonna do is add some spinach to that mixture throw in some baby tomatoes and away we will go we will toss that very well you know and then we will have I'm trying to get this out without making a huge mess um, we will get that mixed very thoroughly and then that will be our dinner for tonight as well as lunch for midweek because we are keeping the fennel and the celery with the lemon juice and the Greek yogurt toss, it will be good for about a day. All right? But because it's so easy, if you really you just take out a mandolin, mandolin the fennel, mandolin, mandolin the celery, you saw the, how quick that was. All right, hi Madison. You mandolin those very quickly. You put them in a bowl, you throw, mix those chickpeas in water, rinse them really well, throw that in there. And that's it. Guys, it's super simple. The, the whole thing took maybe 10 minutes. And now we're going to have a delicious dinner. The salmon's in the oven. It's going to be ready in 7 minutes. We will put that, we'll chop that, we'll like pull it apart, and put it on top of the salad. And again, I'll post a picture of what it looks like. So if you have any questions, please comment in the comment box. If you're watching this, hit the plus sign on the bottom. Share this with somebody. Guys, people need help. This is, I, I do these shows because I know that people need help with this stuff. I know because this is what I deal with on a daily basis with some of my students and then also people that aren't my students that are complete strangers and reach out and they tell me how helpful these episodes are. So. We got our eggs going. We got our salmon's gonna be done in a few minutes, guys. Coach Amir, TFW Long Island, thank you very much for watching tonight. Thank you very much for always tuning in. Share these, let's spread these, let's get more people cooking real food at home, learning how to live like they're supposed to, not through a microwave, not through a drive-through. Guys, Coach Amir, thank you.